do My life was great till you added color So I just woke Elodie up and I should have I should have shown this a second ago, but look how cute this sleep sack is. I'm obsessed with it. We just got it from TK Maxx, which is like England's version of TJ Maxx. Um, and I just think it's so cute with the bow and it uh, buttons up here and then it zips all along here so I can open it up like that, right? Is it so cozy? Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a lot of errands to run with Elodie. Um, we have some Christmas present shopping that we have to do. Um, not really for Christmas presents, but for a craft that we're going to do for some family members and friends. And then we also just have to go to the commissary and uh, where else? The post office on base. I don't know, we have a few errands to run. So I was gonna bring you guys along to show you our day but we have a really busy day and it's already 1:35. yeah Elodie just woke up from her nap so she's right over here can you say hi anyways um we're going to head out and we're going to do the errands on base and yeah we'll talk to you guys in a little bit look how cute these shoes are this isn't like the best angle of them but they're little sparries Look how cute. The back even says fairies. Let's see where they sit. There it is. Little fairies. Do you love your shoes? I think they're so cute. And then of course she's repping daddy today with her little American flag and all that drool. We're not teething yet. Like we're not getting any teeth yet, but she drools constantly. So I'm just waiting for like that tooth to pop through, but we have nothing yet. <laughs> Closer to ya. Tell me how and I'll do it, babe. Cause I just wanna make you feel what I do about ya. So just tell me how and I'll do it, babe. Taco Bell on base to get some food because, well, Elodie's almost asleep. I just looked back there in the mirror and she opened her eyes. <laughs> um, oh, shh, go to sleep. I, I think she'll fall asleep. But um, I stopped by Taco Bell to get food because I've been wanting Taco Bell for like a couple weeks now and every time I come to the drive through on base they like don't accept card at the drive through or the drive throughs closed like whatever happens so I saw that they were open today and they're accepting card at the drive through finally so I decided to stop but I went to the BX and I got a couple things there I'll show you guys later when I get home what I got because I got some cute stuff and then I also went to post office and then I got gas and yeah so now I'm eating so on base I don't know how familiar y'all are with like military installations but on base there's like a certain number of food places that you can get so like here at our base we don't really have that many and they're not very good because our base is really small in England but we have Taco Bell and Burger King are our drive-through places um, and they're American. So like they have Burger King in England, but it tastes different. Um, so they're like the American Burger King and Taco Bell, which is amazing because I never thought I'd be so thankful for like American tasting fast food. But when you're in a foreign country, you really are. So we have those and then like we have in our BX, which is kind of like a really small mall. We have a couple shops in there, which is we have a Starbucks, um, Charlie's, Pizza Hut, Dunkin' Donuts, which the Dunkin' Donuts is trash. Like, I, I don't even know. Um, <laughs> don't even know. So we have a few places to eat, which is really nice. <sighs> and then we also get gas on base because it's so much cheaper. Gas off base, I don't know, I'd probably have to Google how much it is normally, 
but it's like over it's like a pound and 50 pence pound and 30 pence something like that for a liter that's insane especially if you were to do the conversion rates that's over two dollars it's close to three dollars for a liter of gas that's insane um, so we get our gas on base and it's still more expensive than the US, but it's about 80 cents It's also in dollars which helps um, It's also it's about 80 cents a, a liter I don't know I'm Like right next to the gas station, but I can't see the sign for how much it is I don't know how much it is. We honestly like don't pay attention to it anymore because the, no matter what base is always the cheapest option for getting gas so even if we were to, um, even if it was like more expensive one day than the next, like this is still our best option. So I never really pay attention to gas prices anymore. I'm hungry right now and Elodie's asleep. She has like her pacifier hanging out of her mouth. So I still need to go to the commissary, which is like the grocery store. Um, so something that's kind of confusing is like we pay dollars on base, but then pounds off base. So like in my wallet, I'm always having multiple different currencies because I have dollars, pounds and then I also have euros because we went to France a couple months ago so it can get really confusing so I'm gonna go and eat and let Elodie sleep for a couple minutes until we have to go into the commissary when I go into the commissary there I'm getting stuff to make a like breakfast casserole I'm actually doing like a cook with me video and collab with another um, YouTube mama which that will actually have already been up by the time this video it's up so if you haven't watched it definitely go check it out um, it's gonna be a breakfast casserole something that you can make for Thanksgiving um, and if not for Thanksgiving like it's good for any time Christmas whatever um, so definitely make sure to go check that out but I'm gonna go and eat and do my errands and then I'll check back in with y'all when we get home so Baby, you're the So I am back home now. It is 6.32 and it is pitch black outside. Um, but I'm sitting right here where my light is like shining on me. So hopefully it's not too yellow. But anyways, I wanted to show you what um, we got at the BX. Which is the base exchange on base. It's basically like our mini mall. Um, it has like a little bit of everything there. Okay, so I got this. I got a Yankee Candle, I got, I think it's Balsam and Cider? Balsam and si Cedar, not Cider. <laughs> oh, it smells so good. This scent reminds me of Christmas, so I usually get like one of these a year. And of course they were on sale. I think they were on sale. Yeah, I think this was on sale. Um, so anyways, I got this, which I'm so excited to light. Um, I also got these. I thought they were really cute. These like Christmas Santa Christmas present um, window clings. And then I got these. They're just um like round cookie cutters. But basically I'm going to be doing a craft with Elodie. And it's going to be like salt dough ornaments. So I got these because I want to be able to make like really nice circles for the ornaments. So they're not like all crappy looking basically and I figured we'll use these too because Ben loves baking and making cookies and all that so I'm sure he'll use these in the future and then on that same note I also got this ribbon um, because I want to poke like two holes in the in the ornaments that we make <laughs> hi girl but anyways, I got this ribbon. I want to like put two holes and like string it through so this will be the ribbon that they use to hang on the tree. I'm hoping that works. And then I saved the best for last. These are freaking adorable. The packaging is a little bit ruined, but Girl, I'll pay attention to you in one second. It's okay. Oh my gosh, her screaming is out of control. Okay. So it's these little fairy shoes. So you probably saw earlier when I showed you, she had... She has little fairies um, that are like the tan traditional... 
traditional <coughs> traditional fairies. <laughs> Are you better? Mm. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, so she has the traditional tan fairies and they're adorable and she just started fitting into them and I love them. But I wanted to get like the next size up because I kind of want to use them for maybe her first walking shoes. So when I was at the BX today, I saw these and I've never seen them before and obviously they're adorable. So I was texting Ben and I was like, should we get these? And he said, yeah. So, this is what they look like. Look how cute that is. Come on, focus. There you go. Look how cute. I absolutely love them. And then it's cool too because this side is Velcro, which I love because um, her other fairies just tie, which is fine, but these are definitely much more... Um, user friendly let's say for little ones so I got her the next size up so I'm hoping I don't know I'm thinking these could be her first walking shoes what do you think maybe but anyways I love these so now um that's pretty much all I got at the BX and then I went grocery shopping at the commissary but I'm not going to show that because I honestly think it's boring so now we're going to go eat some dinner well, I'm going to eat dinner. I have to film a cook with me tonight, so I have to do that. Ben will be getting off work soon, so we're going to FaceTime him. Oh, you just rolled over that way. You don't do that often. All she wants to do is look at Stella. Are you trying to grab Stella's toy? I swear, they're going to be the best of friends as Elodie gets older because Elodie already shows... <laughs> look at her with her foot. <laughs> so much interest in Stella. And Stella is so good with her. Isn't that right? You want to play? So, I don't know how many of you have seen Stella on the videos yet, but this is my dog, Stella. And I had Stella before I met Ben. Um, so, I got her one year for Christmas, actually. And so, we joked that Stella was a package deal between Ben and I. Um, she was actually in our wedding. She has moved with us multiple times. And, um, yeah, we spent a lot of money getting her over to England, but she was worth it. So now Stella is just a part of the fam. And one day Ben will get his big dog that he wants because he really wants like a big, a big dog. But we'll probably get that, I don't know, probably when we go back to the States so that we don't have to spend so much money on um, shipping the dog, but who knows for sure. Are you watching, Elodie? You think it's funny? Come on. You can do it. I don't know why, but she just doesn't want to roll over. There you go. Good job. Now she just needs to do that completely by herself. That was pretty close though, girl. You're getting better. You're getting better, Elodie. Hi. Oh, now we're face planning. Oh, lovely. Got that on camera, okay. All right, y'all, so that is it for this vlog. I think I left off with Ellie trying to roll over. Um, she never did. She never rolled over from her back to her tummy. We're still working on it. I don't know why she doesn't want to do it. She fights me every time when I try to help her. But it is what it is. Um, she definitely got closer today, I feel like. So that's a good thing. But I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I just got done filming the cook with me. So my kitchen <laughs> is a mess. So I'm going to go clean this up. Elodie is already in bed. Um, thank you so much for watching this vlog. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe if you would like to see more videos from me. This Cook With Me video should have already been up, so definitely go check it out. Um, and I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye! Mm -hmm.